<laughs> Welcome back to the Chan. For today's video, I am going to do a shop my stash kind of video. So much makeup that we just forget about. I want to bring my favorite products back to life and products that I haven't maybe tried enough of or products that I just totally forgot about. Lately, I've been super influenced to just use up the products that I have even though the Sephora haul was just upon us. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it in the screen. There's a lot of temptations to buy new makeup because there's new makeup that comes out every day. So sometimes I just think it's really important to just see what you have, shop your stash, and just use those kind of products. <laughs> Even though you do shop for makeup, don't forget to shop your stash. Let's jump into the video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do before you leave. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias. So this is where I house my makeup right here you can find these at walmart and michael's but they're super convenient i love them this is what i usually do when i'm trying to shop my stash i go through my everyday makeup drawer and i see what i can replace so this face powder i can definitely replace i can use a different one that i haven't used in forever so i'm going to put that over here this elf jelly highlighter I definitely can replace, so I'm going to put that over there. This I'm trying to use up. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick, the Sculpting Highlight. This is so beautiful on the skin. I totally recommend this. But there's not that much left, so this is how much is left. So I'm just trying to use that up. This e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'll put that up there. This Fit Me Powder. Oh, it is so hard not to use this because it's so good. But I really should try another powder. This cream bronzer from Milk is really good. This is in the shade Blaze. This is more of like the contour shade. But oh my gosh, it's so good. I wear it all the time. No, we're going to keep that in there. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. It's worked for so long, but lately it just makes my under eyes look so dry and crepey. It's so weird. Our skin is always changing. It changes every single day. So... This just might not work for me anymore. So we're going to put that over here. These are the products that we can replace. I also want to put concealers in here that I haven't used in a while. First drawer. And this is primers, foundations, and concealers. Let's see what we have back here. Heart shape tape. I'm not the biggest fan of. I know. I just, it's not my number one. So definitely not going to use that one. This is Bobbi Brown intensive skin serum corrector no i'm not gonna use that either hmm. oh this better skin from maybelline i haven't used this in forever okay this might be an option kat von d no too thick for me i'm actually gonna go with the better skin and the makeup revolution one so we're gonna put those in this concealer drawer all right, moving right along into powders. There are so many powders that I literally have not used in so long. We need an under eye powder, we need a face setting powder, and then a loose powder. So under eye powder, what's a good under eye one? Um, so for a loose powder, I think I'm gonna crank this bad boy out again. Oh my gosh, I used to love this so much. This is the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. This is in the shade 115. This used to be so good. I feel like it's so similar to this Fit Me one, and I haven't used it in so long. So I'm gonna put this one in my everyday makeup drawer. Under eye powder. I'm gonna use for under eyes. I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan powder the sensual skin powder foundation in the shade light but i used to use this underneath my eyes and it was such a good formula i gouged it in an accident oh it was such a good formula and it actually blurred out the skin so i'm gonna test this out again for a face powder i haven't used this mac mineralized skin finish in so long and this is the old packaging i miss this packaging this is in the shade medium dark so we have this for a face powder we have the Kevin Aquan powder foundation for underneath the eye, and then the CoverGirl loose powder. Primer I think I wanna try to use up is this Tarte one. Look how much is left. I mean, there's still a decent amount, but I just wanna use it up. So I'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup drawer in replace of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty primer. I would like to have 
just a regular powder bronzer in my everyday makeup drawer just so I can kind of throw it on if I'm in a rush even though I've been loving creams lately like like that's all I've been using is just cream products oh the Marc Jacobs ones why do these have to be so big though oh, I haven't used this one in so freaking long this palette and this has a cream. I'm gonna put this in my palette drawer in my vanity because I haven't used this in so long and it has a cream, a powder, and then the highlights. Oh my gosh, the Coco Chanel one. I forgot I even had this. Oh, I put somewhat of a dent. Oh, and this has a sheen to it. That'll be so pretty for summer. Okay, I think it has to be the Coco Chanel. As far as blushes go, I don't know. This one's so good. Oh, this is the Sculpt and Glow from Models Own. Mmm, I love this one. Yes, look at that blush. This might have to go in the palette drawer. I think we're gonna do peaches. This one's such a good matte peach color it looks so good with a tan oh, i love it so much yeah it's beautiful okay so we're gonna put that one in there and now moving on to highlight this drawer is just insane there's just way too much in here Oh my gosh, this Essence So Glow. Oh, I totally forgot about this one. This one's a really good do for that Clinique one I just showed you guys. Oh man. Okay, so we're going to put this one in the drawer. So I'm going to go with the Ulta Illuminating Powder. The Essence So Glow. I'm going to go with the Christian Dior. <laughs> it just has to be done. <laughs> Moving into the eye products. So I want to do more like glittery. We have the Roll On Shimmer, two pure eye polishes, Akiko Milano Mineral Loose Eyeshadow, and then the Kajaw. So this is everything that I shopped for in my stash. Not my mustache, just my makeup stash. <laughs> Tarte primer right here this is the clean slate primer then we have the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer the maybelline better skin concealer the covergirl loose powder the kevin aquan powder foundation for underneath my eye the mac mineralized skin finish the tardiest pro glow palette mac blush in peaches coco chanel bronzer in deep sculpt and glow from models own alta illuminating powder in pink diamond we got two pure eye polishes one kiko milano mineral shadow it could draw glitter a nyx roll-on shimmer essence cream highlight and a christian dior powder highlight so now we have to put these in their designated homes so the concealers can go up here these were the palettes that I was talking about. What do we even have in here? We have the Peanut Butter Too Faced palette, which I don't really use, so we're not going to put that in there. The Tartlet in Bloom I use on a regular basis. The Too Faced Just Peachy I use on a regular basis. And then the Naked Basics I use almost every day. We're going to take the Stila one out. The Sephora Z palette. And we're going to take this one out as well. So we're going to add the Tardiest Pro Glow. And then the Models Own Sculpt and Glow. All right. I put this illuminating powder in there with these other highlights. These pure eye polishes actually don't fit in these little drawers, so I'm gonna have to keep them in here along with everyday makeup drawer stuff. And then we will put this in there.
with the Kaja and the NYX roller with the Shiseido eye glitter. And then we have the bronzer, the highlight, the face powder. I think I'm just going to stick this Essence So Glow in here. I'm super excited to revisit these products now when I go to do my makeup again. Yay! It's just so much fun. I should do these more often. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. The motorcycles are always so loud. Well, don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.